Well, in one way or another, we are all feeling the impact from inflation and rising prices across the board. That's why it is so vital to know how to manage your finances. And joining us this morning, our prayers have been answered, as I like to say, with advice on how we can do just that, is Kim Gates with Westerly Community Credit Union. Good morning. Good morning. Great pleasure to have you here. You know, I think for so many of us out there, getting control of our finances when it seems like things are spiraling out of control just seems overwhelming and daunting. So when it comes to doing this and to managing it, Kim, let's talk about how we can kind of get started with corralling it all and just making sense of it. That's a perfect way to put it. Really taking time to corral your personal expenses bringing everything together and taking a look at where your money's going. Sometimes we don't really expect that we're spending so much in certain categories. So once you have the awareness and you bring all of that information together, then it's a great time to start putting together a budget. And then you can look at your spending, you can look at your goals, and hopefully you'll be able to find a plan to put together everything and make your goals come to reality. Um, having some knowledge is a great way to help. You know, being able to gain some information. For instance, we have a WCCU Financial Education Center that has so many modules, so many learning opportunities for all ages. And it, you can do it from the comforts of your own home. You can go on and look for information if you're trying to build your budget, build your credit. Uh, pay down debt. There's something for everyone. Absolutely, and if we can just kind of simplify it a little bit, I think for so many out there, just getting started and, and, and moving down that path is challenge number one. So once they can get rolling a little exactly. bit, then things start to open up a little bit. Now, you alluded to paying down debt. Finding that extra money to pay down debt, I mean, can be overly challenging for some people. Is it a, a, a case by case kind of thing or is it something where we just have to evaluate and do it based on our own personal situation? How do you find that extra money? Because that's a huge challenge. Well, I think having that budget in place, first of all, and bringing all the expenses together and then looking at the different categories and right. saying, wow, I had no idea I was spending that much money on food, my grocery bill. How can I make some changes? What kind of adjustments can I make? Can I shop differently? Can I try to use more savings apps? What do I need to do? Whether it be entertainment, you might think, wow, I really want to plan to take my family somewhere. How can I start putting that savings in place? Or maybe looking into the communities that offer so many free events to try to just take advantage of something like that. Yeah, being so, creative. Right, and sometimes just kind of opening your eyes and really taking a look at where the money is going makes you kind of realize, okay, I've got to cut it a little bit here and maybe focus a little bit on this. It's moving the puzzle pieces around. You know, it's trying to put together a fit that's going to work the best. So right. sometimes we don't realize how little things add up. I gotta stop spending so much on Will's birthday <laughs> gift because it's spiraling <laughs> out of control. You don't need that new car, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, the needs and wants, that's, that's what right. it's all about. That's what, yeah, his <laughs> needs and wants. But all kidding aside, really, it's important if we have kids to get the, the young ones started early when it comes to saving. You really, we really wanna teach them how they can take these life lessons throughout their own journeys. Exactly, and there's no time too early to start. And I think really the main focus is savings, teaching them how to save, setting that habit at a young age so they can carry that through into adulthood and then looking at the needs and wants you know what really is important and I also want to add helping them understand what the value of a dollar is I mean right. if you think about them watching us and our purchasing habits we're tapping we're sliding we're out the door with the packages they're not seeing the transaction with cash so it's hard for them to understand maybe they think money does grow on trees. I was just gonna say the old expression you know? <laughs> it doesn't grow on a tree and exactly. that's right and they see all these things coming into the house and going out and you think well all this stuff is just so easily accessible but you really want to teach them the value of that dollar like exactly. you said. And for you and the team, I would presume, Kim, it must be so rewarding for you to help so many people out there really manage their finances, especially young people coming in, maybe they're starting their first job, they don't really understand these things, but working with these people must be very rewarding for you all. Oh, it certainly is. In fact, we have certified financial counselors at all of our branches. They're trained professionals, not passing judgment, really trustworthy, and someone that you can talk to to help put these pieces together. So that's a great way to also manage your finances by speaking to someone that you can trust and count on. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's all such good advice, and I know uh, there's a great takeaway here for so many of our viewers, so thanks for, for providing the information. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today. You bet. If you would like to learn even more, you can review these financial management tips by visiting us at roadshow.com, where we will have links to Westerly Community Credit Union.